Where's here with the Resident Evil 3 Remake Achievement Guide, we're going to be going with the achievement called Power Stones. Now, what you need to do for this is collect all the jewels and place them in the Clock Tower Monument, which is in, located in the very first main safe house you get in the game, playing as Jill. So the very first one you can get that it doesn't need any extra items is in the Moon Donut Shop all the way in the back here. Go inside this room and it's right next to this box right here I'm looking at. I sure it's there, I just grabbed it earlier and put it in my item box by accident, so that will be the first one you can grab. The next one is going to take an item. These are basically story related, but I will show you where they're at. So you make way from that safe house down there, you go across over here, where I showed you where the moon donuts place is at, and then you can go to the left room over there where that grayed out area is at, and grab the fire hose. To come back over here to put this out, there's a little fire over here in the alley. Come inside this repair shop, and the cut is right here against the wall on these box, little toolbox here. So make sure you just follow along with the story, and you'll eventually get to that point. Now the next item you need is a lock pick. These are all story related. You need these to advance, but I'm just kind of giving you a little bit of a point of where they're at. So once you come in these areas, make sure you make note that you got them. Once you have both of these, head straight back to where I'm going to show you next. That way you can actually get this without trying to do this while Nemesis is chasing you later on. So otherwise that would be a bit of a pain. So you come down here eventually and you need to turn the power back on to continue the story. And you come down here to get the lock pick off this guy in the box. So pick it off this guy. Go ahead and go back into your items and you can examine the box. And then inside that box you have your lock pick. You will need this to get inside of that store as well as continue the story. So don't fear once you grab these items, they are story related. You cannot miss them. Just giving you a little bit of extra pointers here to know what you're looking for and when you get it. So once you have both of those, head back to the beginning where the safe house is just down south of the map. Head to the chain door and you'll use the cutters to be able to cut the chain off the door. Like I said, do this pretty much right away once you get the lock pick. Because after that, things start getting a little bit crazier, so make sure you come back right away. Come back in here. This is what the box looks like in case you never grabbed the other one, so you'll know. Since I, you know, grabbed it too soon. So what you're going to do with these boxes is go ahead and open them up, examine them, open them up, get the jewel, and have them in your inventory. Or if you want, you can wait later. It doesn't really matter, but I just open up right away. And the next area is right here next to it. And the shop that you're going to need to get into with the lock pick. So the bolt right here at the beginning. So go into Toy Uncle, pick this lock on the door, and you'll be able to grab the other box. And there's also a couple collectibles in here as well if you want to grab them while you're in here. So this is a pretty easy achievement. All you gotta do is grab all three of these, and then once you have all these boxes and open them up, you can head back to the beginning where the little safe house is at, and you'll see a little monument over there, and I'll get to that in a second. Just grabbing the last box here, right on the table. So once you go ahead and grab that, go ahead and open that up as well. And then get your next jewel inside. You can also see on the map where this is at in the safe house. So if you press on your map button, the back button here, and look at this. I'm just kind of giving you an idea of where I was and where I'm at now. It's just down south in the safe house. You'll see it says monument when you hover over it. So right there is where you know for sure I'm looking at right now is a little clock thing. Pretty simple. All you gotta do is go up to it and then insert the jewels. You don't gotta really do any kind of puzzle. Just click on each one of the jewels and it'll automatically go inside of the clock tower monument by itself. And then once you put all three of them in there, you'll get your achievement. Alright guys, I hope this helped you out. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe and I'll have more Resident Evil guides for you soon.